There was no more curse. There shall be no night there, there shall be no candle, no light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. Here we have John, a man who writes in the vocabulary of an eight-year-old child, 700-word vocabulary, and he writes a book about heaven. I saw heaven open. This is what I saw in heaven. And he describes heaven to us. Whereas Paul, the wordsmith, the man who is the master of the ancient languages, he throws up his hands and says, I'm sorry, I was there, but <laughs> there's no way I can describe what I saw. Well, of course, what Paul wanted to do was tell us what heaven was. John settled for telling us what heaven wasn't. Many years ago, probably 20 years ago, I was out in San Francisco area, and uh, someone had been speaking to the children about heaven. And he was quizzing them. And he asked various questions. And one of them was, of all the things that are in heaven, what are you glad will be there? And there were various answers. And then he asked the question, what are you glad will not be in heaven? Well, there was a little boy, and he was squeezed right into his mother's side, and he put his little hand up about this high, and I don't think he ever expected to be asked. But the speaker came over and got down on his haunches right in front of the little boy, and he said, Tell me, son, what is not going to be in heaven, and you're glad it won't be there? And if possible, the little boy scrunched even further into his mother, and he said in a soft voice, There'll be no more shyness. Well, I don't know what it is that haunts you in your life, but I can tell you it won't be there. And you know, there are some sins, some failures, some past broken dreams, broken plans, broken promises that will not get fixed until the rapture. But thank God, the rapture will fix them. But I don't want us to lose sight of the fact that what God tells us about heaven, by and large, is that the Lord Jesus is there. He's what makes heaven heaven. And you can see, for example, if you turn over to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, and here we read, The first man is of the earth earthy, the second man is of heaven heavenly. That's maybe how I would have written it, but that's not what it says. The second man is the Lord from heaven. In other words, Adam was like his environment. He was of the earth earthy. What else could he be? He was made out of dust. That's, that's his nickname, Dusty. That's what Adam means, Dusty. He was made out of the dust, so he was Dusty. But the Lord Jesus isn't like heaven. He's not of heaven, heavenly. He's the Lord from heaven. In other words, he isn't like heaven. Heaven is like him. He's what makes heaven, heaven. He's the Lord there. He's the Lamb. He's the light. He's the temple. He is the object of our affection. He's the theme of the song. Everybody looks like him. Everybody bears his name in their forehead. Everyone worships him. The Lamb is all the glory of Emmanuel's land.